Hey guys, we're back with some more Switch Talk. Today we're going to be speculating on the supplemental computing device, the external processing dock that may or may not come to the Nintendo Switch in the future. Now this supplemental computing device, if you don't know, it's an external processing box that hooks up to the Nintendo Switch itself and basically boosts the processing power of the Switch. The Switch has an onboard and custom NVIDIA Tegra processor, an SoC, and we don't know if it's Maxwell, we don't know if it's Pascal, it's probably Maxwell. But the performance isn't, it's not comparable to a PS4 or an Xbox One, not really. It's not, it's not higher end performance. But what this SCD would do, it's a little box you would hook up to the N Nintendo Switch while it's docked in the cradle, and it would beam extra power over to the Switch and, you know, boost its GPU, CPU, RAM performance. Uh, network latency, everything. So let's get right into it. There were reports on NeoJAF. Now these reports come from a Foxconn worker that that was right on the money about Nintendo Switch leaks back when it was the NX. The NX was was spotted by a Foxconn worker. Foxconn is a factory in Asia where basically all all of technology is made. It's all put together at Foxconn factories. And I reported on this and. He sketched it out. He actually was right about the PS4 Pro as well, but that's a whole nother story. So he sketched it out. He said all these things, you know, uh, he said that it would have a PS Vita like tablet, that the controllers, he was talking about the actual performance of the device. All of these things were right on the money. Now this leaker also talked about the SCD in itself. But the thing is, he was talking about the dev kit. The dev kit apparently was much beefier than the, the retail version of the Nintendo Switch by necessity, of course. Now, according to the Foxconn worker that the dev kit had higher end, uh, it had two chips. It had the Tegra processor and a huge, bigger uh, GPU. Now the GPU itself, the GPU unit, Te technically, uh, the, the GPU unit matches, roughly matches, the size of NVIDIA's GP, GPU 106 model in the GTX 1060. So that, you know, there's a lot of speculation, oh, the, uh, the dev kit has that. Then there's speculation that the SCD will have a GPU that's equivalent to that to boost processing power to really, really high levels, like really dramatically improve the levels. Now, if this is true, there's also speculation that the RAM on the dev kit will be eight gigabytes. So all of these things were on the dev kit, but they're not in the final version. So that what that leads us to believe, Nintendo is going to release an extra box, the SCD, to boost the power that that the stuff that's missing will be put into an extra box and sold separately and you'll be able to buy it in the future to boost your switch power if you if you want you don't have to do that it would basically be like uh basically be like imagine if the ps4 had its own graphics external graphics box like there's all these uh, a lot of a lot of oems are making their own external um uh, what are they called external gpus eGPUs. They have these box, you slot in a full-size graphics card, hook it up to a, Razer has one, you hook it up to a, uh, a laptop, and what it does is it, tra you basically leverage the, the dedicated video card through the laptop, turn it into a gaming PC, like a high-end gaming PC. So that's something that we might see with the Nintendo Switch. I've covered the SCD in the past, and I think the SCD may not be what people are, are thinking it will be. I don't necessarily think it will have a, a fully fledged like GTX 1060 or anything, and neither does the the reports. Like they don't say it's going to be a high end GTX 1060 or anything. If anything, if it, even if it is uh, based on the GP 106 GPU, it will be a heavily scaled, highly modified version. So we will not get we will not get performance akin to the GTX 1060 uh, desktop video card. The report goes on to say that 8 gigabytes of RAM like we said that's that's about it the SCD, so I'm pretty sure that 
if this report is right, the dev kit does rock all these features, then the SCD may use it. But the patents, I reported on the patents on the SCD, supplemental computing device. Now the patents, there's a lot of legalese and there's a lot, there's, first of all I want to say there's no confirmation that this, this thing even exists, there's no confirmation that it will even come to the Switch. All the patents indicate is that at one point Nintendo is planning it, that their research and development teams want to lock it in, so if they ever want to do it, they can. They don't have to face any kind of, uh, you know, any type of nonsense, and anyone saying, oh that's my device, that kind of thing. But the SCD external hardware upgrades for mainstream consoles and it could have a number of different configurations a number of different features but the abstract the, the main the main reason why Nintendo is doing this let's see to improve basically to improve the quality of games network quality visual quality all around improve the quality of the game itself now, the SCD, there was no specs or anything like that revealed in the patent. And there's a lot of stuff in that patent. There, there really is. But the SCD in itself can facilitate, can boost the, the CPU bandwidth in such a way that the Nintendo Switch can absorb, you know, it could, it could use, utilize a lot of network power. And I think that is going to be the key of the SCD. I don't think necessarily the the graphics, the it will have an onboard graphics uh, processor, simply because it makes more sense for Nintendo to use Nvidia's grid servers to acce accelerate the Nintendo Switch. Now the the Nvidia grid servers are used basically as an on-demand uh, games as a service cloud streaming platform. Basically, you use it, the Nintendo, I think, will use this platform. The grid servers are used by the NVIDIA Shield and Shield TV. Basically, what it does is it beams high-powered gaming to the actual set-top box that's, that's hooked up to your TV. And you utilize the power from these servers you beam like the the high-end pascal gray geforce gtx power from the servers through the internet through the cloud then it gets you know it gets beamed to the actual console so you're essentially playing a gtx powered pc over the cloud and i think that this service this this feature this uh cloud performance this this performance boost will come to the Nintendo switch in a limited capacity but the sheer the sheer thing is the Nintendo switch utilizes a Tegra processor the Tegra processor is used in the shield TV both shield TVs and they both use the Nvidia grid service and it is a paid service and I think this will facilitate in Nintendo's as an option in Nintendo's paid online subscription service so I think what the SCD will essentially do is open up, it'll be the gateway to higher end performance on the Switch, not necessarily in the box, but over the cloud through NVIDIA's grid servers. That's essentially the meat of, the, of what I think Nintendo is going to do. Now keep in mind, Nintendo and NVIDIA have teamed up. This partnership, NVIDIA thinks this partnership could last two decades. And it makes a lot of sense. It makes so much sense on so many levels for Nintendo to go with Nvidia. Not only because they have the Nintendo Switch is literally the proof of concept of the unification of the actual Shield TV and Shield tablet systems, but also Nvidia has the Tegra, which is perfect for for mobile-based content, and it also has the scalability and GPU cloud support of the grid servers, the GeForce Now service. I think we'll see this facilitated in the Nintendo Switch. Could it might cost a bit, but I think that people do want higher end performance in the Switch, and that's something they're kind of disappointed with the uh, you know the sub 900p, 720p of the tablet. The tablet's fine, I think, but the console, you know, we've seen. When the console is docked, it delivers like 900p, 30fps in uh, Breath of the Wild, 
which that makes sense because it's an open world game it's such a big game but I think that the switch itself will use this hardware will will use the SCD to power its it basically accelerated cloud processing so let's take a little little bit to look at the SCD as the patents explain it so quote from the patents the SCD is something that allows the console to couple couple to a supplement computing device to increase the speed or quality of a user's gaming experience it can provide processing and or storage resources to games games consoles to assist in game performance or other tasks like viewing photos and watching videos it can be physically attached to a console to increase speed or quality of a gaming experience consoles connect to the supplemental computing device remotely via local wireless network that's a huge uh, huge clue there and it will boost the connection strike and improves latency with online games and game services that are powered by cloud computing that right there that that quote tells me that this this is it this is what Nintendo is going to do they're going to use Nvidia's grid servers to accelerate the process speed the they could they could accelerate everything through the the grid servers GeForce now and I think the paid service will have its own like maybe ten dollars extra a month or maybe it's included with the service as long as you buy the SCD who knows I mean Nintendo can do a lot of interesting things here and if they're the first to do this it'll be huge because you know Microsoft touts oh yeah we got we got Microsoft compute we got cloud compute but it really hasn't taken off that well cloud crackdown 3 will basically be one of the first games to utilize it properly and that game is it's coming out this year but man it's it's been a while you know it's they haven't really they haven't really jumped on this and this is something that's huge it's going to be huge if it's true this is how they use an SCD now there's a lot of clues I've touched on the clues here the patent the SCD itself but if it does have an included uh, GTX 1060 the thing is going to be expensive and I don't I don't think that's necessarily um, the right move I think it just should be a box that boosts the latency to facilitate the the uh, proper environment for the grid servers but here's another interesting thing the patent states the SCD you basically if you have an SCD hooked up to your Nintendo switch you can let someone use your internet connection you can let them borrow it you can rent your internet connection out to them and it says that Nintendo will basically offer incentives for people to do that you know just rent out your your internet connection basically like P2P style sharing and Nintendo will will give you some they won't they probably won't give you money but they'll probably give you like stars or coins to spend in their their marketplace some sort of digital currency so that could be huge to, in itself the patent also states that you can have most multiple SCDs hooked together in a daisy chain style which pretty awesome in itself that that's awesome too so I think it's a little bit a little bit unrealistic to expect the SCD to have certain things inside of it now if the Foxconn worker is right about the dev kit having that kind of level of uh, hardware inside then the SCD might have it we don't know but it seems like something that could be counterintuitive um, as far as Nintendo keeping costs down and delivering their own unique style their own unique products but if it does if th they could even have two SCDs for all I know and essentially basically what what they're doing is what they did with the expansion packs and 64 you know that kind of thing the thing that Sega did with the <laughs> with with their hardware and that just failed dramatically but I don't think this will fail I think that Nintendo is thinking they're planning for the future and I think that this is going to be huge if it's true they just have to handle it properly they have to work with Nvidia and they have to uh, work with the shareholders and make sure it's all handled properly no no ridiculous expensiveness no weird fractured environments none of that stuff but I do think the Nvidia grid servers GeForce Now 
will be implemented in some way on the Switch to boost GPU, CPU performance, and just just uh, processing performance in general, higher end gameplay, higher end games. And I do think we will have to pay for this service. I always said that uh, they could offer their own Netflix style rental service powered by GeForce Now servers. You know, old style uh, uh, virtual console games. So this thing, this this framework could carry over to all sorts of different things. But another interesting thing to note, as I reported earlier, the, the reason why Nintendo is rolling out their online, paid online servers is to facilitate a proper environment for developers. They want big online games to come to the Switch. They want EA games to come to the Switch. They want Ubisoft, they want and they want Activision online games to come to the Switch. They they need this. And in order to do that, they have to have an online environment, a paid online environment, a premium online environment that can support those games. Now, um, I'll put a link in the description to this coverage, but Nintendo America president Reggie Fields and me basically said that that was one of the main reasons why they rolled out the paid subscription plan is so they can finally implement their own massive online environment and attract third-party developers to bring their games over so the 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 online environment the paid subscription will be premium and I expect it to cost basically maybe ten dollars cheaper than uh, Xbox Live Gold and PlayStation Plus I think it's still going to cost a bit, and I think that the reasoning for that is so Nintendo can win developers over. Because if they have their janky online environment still, developers aren't going to bring their games over. They're not going to bring their heavy-hitting online-based games over. That's what Nintendo wants. They want third-party, strong third-party games. They want strong third-party online games. So that's going to tie in heavily with the online framework. And it's going to tie in heavily with the SCD, and I think it's going to tie in heavily with the GeForce Now grid servers that I think Nintendo is going to leverage. They're going to borrow these servers, and not only will this allow Nintendo to have a strong infrastructure, an online multiplayer infrastructure, it will allow them to basically beam compute power, GeForce GTX level compute power, through the cloud to the Switch. I think that's what we're going to see think it's going to be pretty interesting but that about does it guys I just wanted to share this with you I, I strongly believe this is where Nintendo is going I strongly believe that they're going to make the most of their partnership with Nvidia they're trying out all these new things this is a beginning chapter of Nintendo and it could it could fail it could completely you know blow up in their face but I don't think it will I think that this is going to be big and it's basically be one of the first times a games console can successfully do something like this and not only utilize external uh, processing power but also utilize the cloud properly to boost their gameplay but it might be a little expensive that's the only thing I'm worried about we might have to pay like two three hundred dollars for the SCD itself maybe even ten to fifteen dollars on top of the subscription plan or who knows it might be included with the actual subscription plan we'll have to see this this kind of thing though i don't think we'll actually see this maybe a year or two years into the nintendo switch life cycle so this is something that they're going to plan out properly the planning went into phase uh back in 2014 when they were actually earnestly working on the nintendo switch so and we might not even see it at all that's another thing we might not see it but i think we will and i think it's going to change everything for nintendo and for Nintendo consoles. Alright guys, I hope you liked this video and let me know what you think and we'll see you next time.